there, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we have a look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, showing the M-class solar flare in the northwest region of our sun, as well as some pretty fiery active cresting regions right now. 304 angstroms here. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. On the right-hand side there, that was the solar flare, not in an earth-facing direction, but it is set to give us a little glancing blow. Looking at outgoing imagery here, mostly plasma filaments dancing around our heliosphere. Pretty large extended one on the southern hemisphere of our sun. I've been watching that for the last few days. Another close look here at the solar flare. Boom, right there. M-class solar flare, and just recently there was another C-class solar flare. Looking at 191 angstroms here. Pretty bright imagery. And as you can see on the left side, those are some very large active fiery regions coming in. As well, 171 angstroms here showing the dark regions. We do have the earth facing coronal hole right now, so we can expect an increased solar wind stream the next 36 hours. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral showing the small CME, or sorry, the M-class solar flare that shot out from our sun Solar X-ray flux, again, jumped into C-class range today. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind. Right now, we are sitting at 408 kilometers per second. And it's it dropped down a bit, but it's starting to rise back up. When it dropped down, the density bunches jumped up. Almost 23 for density. And then you can see the flip-flop of the triangle there. Lasco 2 imagery showing all of the events from the last two days on our sun. Most of the activity was in the southeast and as well northwest regions of our sun. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 23. So still up there quite a bit after jumping up to 38 last night. Thoughts and prayers going out to humanity. Amplitude of 23, quality of 7.1, power of 15. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. As it started out with a pretty sizable earthquake and felt by thousands 5.7 earthquake here in Veracruz, Mexico, 109 kilometer depth. That was early this morning. I've already seen many videos, people definitely feeling that. As well, a 4.9 here in Chiquilo, Nicaragua, a 5.0 here in Panama, 35 kilometer depth. And right into Venezuela here with 4.2, 120 kilometer depth. So Central America, this is the area I've been watching the last couple days. As well, Peru reporting a 5.1, Argentina 4.8, Santiago, Chile 4.6, and the West Chile rise a 5.0 today. 5.4 reported yesterday north of Ascension Island. And as well, a 5.1 here in Chagos, Archipelago, Somalia Plate. Other than that, minor activity across the Philippines, 4.3, 5.0 through Papua New Guinea, 5.5 as well. Deepest earthquake today, 417 kilometer depth, 4.2 Fiji. That was just recently. As well, up into Kamchatka, 4.7 there. Alaska, still seeing minor activity. Looking across the United States, largest to report was the 3.8 here at the geysers overlooking hawaii 
Largest today was the 3.0, most recent 2.7. And a quick look at the summit in Caldera of Kilauea as it is breathing deeply. Maybe he's feeling the stress of the world, ready to blow up. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We'll have a quick look here at the last seven days across the world. Take this moment to thank everybody for watching. And as well, thank you all for the memberships and support to this channel. Really helps further research and productions with daily events worldwide. I thank you and much love. Prayers for humanity. Looking around the world, most of the activity has been, of course, around the Ring of Fire, but increased activity through Central America this week. Expecting some more and definitely moving northward up into the Pacific Northwest, Cascades of North America. Pretty deep earthquakes there, Fiji, all week long. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated today for eruptions. Starting out here, Sabancaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Swiss in Ajima, Japan, Fuego, Guatemala. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Reventador in Ecuador. Semeru, Indonesia. Ibu, Indonesia. And Talika, Nicaragua. Nevadas to Chilean, Colombia, and as well Popo in Mexico. Looking at the disaster alerts right now, there are over 100 active alerts. And now we have another tropical storm that has developed south of New Caledonia and Fiji. Tropical Cyclone 18 is alive. Tropical Cyclone Anika has dissipated and is heading south. Many flood alerts across southeastern as well, western Australia. Intense rains moving through east and west Java, right up into Thailand. Tropical cyclone Vernon, still spinning, heading southward, not affecting anybody. And this is the last 24 hours for satellite imagery across the world. Some pretty big systems heading through the Atlantic this week. Just look at the size of this one that just headed through. Let's have a look at what is coming here for the next few days. Going to look at windy.com showing the wind models. Intense system heading up into Greenland. As well, coming for Saturday and Sunday. Next weekend for Ireland. United Kingdom, you've got a pretty big system on your doorstep. Very windy conditions and as well, large swells and waves. As these two huge systems in the Northern Hemisphere keep churning. As well, watch through Eastern North America as this big system moves in. And that is for next weekend. Pretty tight boundary line there. Going to really mix things up. Now I wanted to show you here as well the wave height. This is windy.com showing the waves, projected waves for next weekend in two parts of Western Europe and Central Europe. You could see upwards of 12 meters in height for waves. As well, watching the same thing develop here in the Pacific Ocean. Pretty turbulent waters right now. Watch for very strong winds and waves heading into California this week. As well, eastern North America. 
Same thing happening in the southern hemisphere, not as high, looking at about a 9 meter height. But yeah, pretty intense system heading into Europe. That is the big picture today. I want to thank again everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Also going to be observing this cyclone here east of Madagascar. Looks like it will be heading into land next Friday into Saturday after sitting out in the ocean there churning for a few days before heading into Mananera. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.